primary two. Welcome to our mathematics lesson. Let each one of you stand up. We are going to begin our lesson by reminding ourselves of how to recite the table of two. I guess each one of you knows how to recite the table of two. In primary one, we learned how to recite the table of two. Let's begin. I can recite the table of two. Zero times two is equal to zero. One times two is equal to two. Two times two is equal to four. Two times three is equal to six. Two times four equals eight. Two times five equals ten. Two times six equals twelve. Two times seven equals fourteen. Two times eight equals sixteen. Two times nine equals eighteen. Two times ten equals twenty. Two times eleven equals twenty two. Two times twelve equals twenty four. Big up to you girls. Let's sit down. Who can guess what we are going to talk about in our lesson? Wow, she's saying multiplication. High five. So we are going to look at multiplication. Multiplication. We have a new thing as mult multiplication multiplication and multiplication is the same as repeated addition so in this particular lesson we are going to see how we multiply we are going to multiply by two multiplying multiplying by two girls since we all know how to recite the table of two it means it's going to be very easy for us when it comes to multiplying numbers by two but for this lesson we are going to begin with small numbers we are going to begin with small numbers and we are going to multiply by two horizontally 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 means the numbers move across the numbers move across the way i have written these words it's horizontal i have written them horizontally so let's have our example we are going to begin with example number one these are our examples we are going to begin with zero zero we have been given zero times two this is our number one this looks like a very easy number but yet complicated to a few girls everybody eyes on the chalkboard let's read zero times two if we don't say zero multiply by two we read it as the simplest way is zero times two how do we interpret this this is interpreted as zero groups of two this is zero groups of two meaning if we have zero groups 
of 2. 0 is the same as nothing. Remember, when we are looking at subtraction, we said 0 is the same as nothing. It means there is nothing, there is space. So, if we have that is 0, group of 2, does it mean that we have something? No, it means that we do not have anything. Meaning, if there are zero groups of two, there is nothing, which is the same as zero times two, we shall get an answer as zero. So, any number times zero, you get the answer as zero. Any number multiplied by zero, you get the answer as zero. So, from today, put it in your mind that any number multiplied by zero, you get the answer as zero. Wow! So, we go to our example number two. These are very easy numbers. One times two. One times two, who can tell us what does it mean? Wow! That bright girl, she says, it means one group of two. Let's give her flowers. Flowers. So, she says, one group of two. This is one group. One group of two. One group of two. Meaning we shall have one group here, this is our group, and in this group, how many members are we going to, we are going to put two counters? One, two. This is one group having two sticks. So this is one group of two. In order to get the answer, we count the number of sticks inside here. One, two. Meaning, one times two, you get the answer as two. The other trick is, dear girls, the other trick is, any number multiplied by one, you get the answer as that very number. Any number multiplied by one, you get the answer as that very number. For example, three times one, you'll get the answer as three. Four times one, you'll get the answer as four. Five times one, you'll get the answer as five. Six times one, you shall get an answer as six. Seven times one, we shall get an answer as seven. Eight times one, we shall get an answer as eight. And so on and so on. Meaning, we shall keep on adding one if we are, mod if we are multiplying by one. Example number three. I told you multiplication is very easy. In example 3, we have 4 times 2. 4 times 2. Let everybody read. Read goes 4 times 2. What does it mean? What does it mean? Yes, she wants to give me the answer. Wow, wonderful. Shall say 4 groups. We shall put two, two counters. 